It's been well over a year since the launch of recreational weed sales in the Garden State, yet questions remain as to who can and cannot consume the legal drug. After a tumultuous debate over off-duty police officers last year, the rules are now still too vague for firefighters and other first responders, and many have said that they are reluctant to be the test case when it comes to figuring out how exactly this law applies to them. Brenda Flanagan reports. We're the guinea pigs, so to speak. We're the, we're the, we're the lab rats that are going to figure this out. Steve McConlog fought fires for years in Elizabeth. He says firefighters and EMTs in New Jersey still drive through a haze of uncertainty over cannabis use, even though weed's legal sold all over the state. New Jersey's attorney general issued guidelines that allow law enforcement officers to indulge while off duty as long as it doesn't hurt on the job performance. But for other first responders, it remains murky. How do we address that? So there's so many uncertainties right now that we still don't have answers to. Uh, I can't give one of my members a clear answer on, you know, can we do this? And my my answer is what our legal team says is, you know, don't be the test case until there's more. And I don't know when more comes. The head of New Jersey's Professional Firefighters Association says nobody should come to work impaired by any substance, but cannabis remains illegal under federal law. For first responders in Jersey, that means looking to individual employers, towns, and EMS squads for guidance. You know, there's nothing that says a first responder can't use recreational cannabis. However, it doesn't exonerate them from their local labor agreement drug testing policy, rules and regulations. The Department of Health also has not given us any official guidelines. They, they are kind of leaving it up to every different agency to work on it themselves. Paula Weiler's president of Jersey's EMS Council. She's advised squads to consult lawyers and medical directors when setting cannabis policies. It's created a patchwork. A squad in Englewood may have a different policy than a squad in Verona, which may be different than Tom's River, which could be different than Kingsburg or any other place in the state. There's still no clear test to measure impairment from cannabis use, and many first responder squads rely on volunteers who fit into a different legal category than career rescue workers. But one former firefighter says as long as first responders maintain a drug-free workplace, they should be able to at least use medicinal cannabis. I should have had a stroke or a heart attack when I was like 28, 30, easily. But because I found this medication, it took the stress, the anxiety, I slept naturally, I lost over 120 pounds. Former Ocean County firefighter Dan Jensen founded a nonprofit called Code 3 Outreach. It partners with cannabis vendors like Curaleaf to sell merchandise and donate a portion to first responders. He's conducted seminars with 50 squads on how cannabis can benefit firefighters and EMTs, but he's clear on responsible use. I know a lot of people say, oh, I just had a beer, I can get on a truck. I just took a puff, I can get on a truck. I personally don't believe in that. That's not the way it should be. Because here we are trying to fight a stigma and you're going to give credit to the other side, the, the opposition uh, on this issue. Meanwhile, Jersey's Department of Community Affairs says the Fire Safety Commission's subcommittee on cannabis use by firefighters has not yet formulated a recommendation to the fire service, but are having discussions towards that. It's apparently a back burner issue. I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News. <laughs>